Welcome back to your News Now Sports. I'm Adam Solomon. Week six of the high school football season means league titles are starting to come into focus. Three first place battles tonight, including in the NWC, Lima Central Catholic and Bluffton, fighting to stay on top. Our Dylan Tyson talks with both head coaches ahead of kickoff. Well, Adam, we're just trying to stay dry over here, but three teams still unbeaten in the NWC, two of them meeting here tonight. And it's a rivalry renewed with the Thunderbirds rejoining the conference. It's the first time they've met the Pirates since 2013, which means it's also the first meeting head-to-head -head for these two coaches. And we start with Bluffton's Jeff Richards. Now, Coach, LCC's gotten the best of this program in the last nine meetings dating back to 2004, but you guys were undefeated then, undefeated coming into tonight. I know the defense has been a big key to that success, not allowing a single first-half touchdown yet. Yeah, you know, with our defense, we put a huge emphasis on responsibility football and not trying to do more than what your job is. Our guys have done a great job of that so far this season. It's fair to say the team then is picking up right where it left off last year, even though you guys graduated four All-Ohio talents. But when we talked in the preseason, you, you mentioned that it's not about replacing those guys, but doing something new with the guys that follow in their footsteps. How has that taken form this season? Yeah, you know, we've had some guys that in the past were role players or even backups that have really stepped up and, and kind of made a, uh, an impact more than what they did last year. And some of those guys that were leaders last year that returned, they picked up right where they left off. So I think a big part of it is just, you know, our group group gelled together pretty early in the preseason and they they're trying to get better every single week. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, coaches. We shift our focus now to the Thunderbirds and head coach Scott Palti as the weather's picking up a little bit behind us back here. Well, we talked earlier about that stout bluffed in defense. What do you notice about them? And, you know, how is that going to affect the offensive playbook? How's the weather going to affect the offensive playbook tonight? Like Coach Richard said, that's a, a very disciplined group that knows their responsibilities and they execute each play. Um, very physical, very fast. They fly around. They just do a great job defensively. And, you know, you're going to have to find a way to, to make plays and block people. It, it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Thunderbirds are red hot right now winning four in a row but last week was a roller coaster for you guys after getting out to that 14 nothing lead in the first quarter you guys needed a goal line stand in the final seconds of the game in order to pull out the win so what do you tell the team after a performance like that against Lormy? no we're always just happy that we continue to play to the final whistle and make sure that we're we are playing hard and i thought our kids did a great job last week of you know really digging in at the end and, and making a big play to get them stopped and uh really proud of their efforts and we, we continue to try to get better each week and uh we're gonna have to play our best football to date if we're going to be able to compete with Bluffton tonight. All right, Coach, well, best of luck to you, and that's all the time we have, but for full coverage of Football Friday Night, be sure to tune in tonight at 11.15 in Bluffton. Dylan Tyson, your News Now Sports. Thank you, Dylan. Big NWC matchup there. Second-ranked Columbus Grove is also at Allen East tonight. Huge MAC matchup between Division 7's number one team, Marion Local, and Division 5's number four team, Versailles. Lima Seniors on the road at Bowsher, Shawnee at Wapak, OG at Bath, Salina at Elida. Two top teams in the NWCC, Upper Side of Valley and Ridgemont. We'll have highlights and scores from our 60-plus high schools tonight at 11:10.